Hello, so a quick update on what I've been up to. Um, add some fun and games getting my aluminium, um, which you'll see some of it there, some of it there, there and there. I've had it cut to size, so it's all the right sizes that I need, which is great. Um, fun and games because uh, it got delivered, part of it didn't get delivered, then that got delivered, then something else was missing, and then that got delivered. Anyway, it's all here now, which is great. So we're gonna run through that in a minute and how I'm folding it, which is quite cool. Um, a few other updates up here, um, CAN bus wire. I've got that to link my Arduino to the um, BMS, which is going to be in the boot. So that's wired, and that's going down the side where all the wires go in the RX-8, all nicely wired in. So I've had all the interior out to do that. Up here, I've also got a new uh, volt, uh, 12 volt or low voltage cable going through this side of the car, down into the boot, because I've moved the low voltage cabling. I say low voltage, the 12 volts for the car into the boot. So this is the new position for the battery. I've got an M8 bolt here through the chassis, welded a nut on the other end so it can't fall off. Nutted here, super solid, not going anywhere. That's where that's gonna live and it's all working beautifully. Uh, it's earthed to the chassis here. And uh, this isn't uh, uh, the same gauge wire that the RX-8 would have had originally. It's about, it'll carry about 20 amps, but um, I've tested and I'm getting about, I don't know, seven to 10 amps when the car's in full use with the um, power steering and everything. So fingers crossed that's okay. Uh, what else have been up to? Um, oh, I've removed the high voltage wiring from the original EV and now the, the new high voltage wiring is gonna go down the tunnel. So I've got uh, connectors and stuff coming so I can get under the car and cable that all up neatly in there. So that'll be the high voltage cable running through. There's actually gonna be four cables because uh, half the battery's gonna be in the front, half the battery's in the back, the BMS is in the back and the inverters in the front <laughs> so it's cables running up and down but as I as I get that installed I'll um, obviously show you so I think what I'll do now I'm just gonna put the camera on the tripod and I'll show you how I'm folding this aluminium um, it's really cool and it's working really well as well actually I'll quickly show you Ta -da! one bit folded that's actually was one long sheet and I've just folded it there so let me put this on a on a tripod and I'll show you what I'm doing here Okay, so what I've got is I've got my workbench here with um, some steel, and this is a, an angled steel, about 20 mil angle, it's, but it's got a nice folded corner. And then what I do is I get a second one, mount it on top. So when I fold this aluminium up, this nice shape here will reflect in the aluminium. Um, that's the plan, and it worked perfectly the first one I did, so that's hopefully this will work on the second piece. So I've already marked it, and just going to line it up nicely with my, with my markings. I put my markings on the outside because that then becomes the corner. So these markings are the right distance but they're going to be on the outside of the corner which then becomes a nice rounded shape in the right place. So they're in my place. I just use my clamps here just to clamp this down. making sure it's not moving. Okay, there we go. So clamp that one down. That's good, that's in the right position. So clamp around here. Just move it slightly. There we go. Clamp that down. Okay. So Bottom bit clamped in the workbench, top bit clamped to the bottom bit, aluminium free to bend. And literally, I was just super, super careful, getting my hand right under it, giving it as much support as possible, and just start to feel it up. It doesn't need much force, but what I'm trying to do, if I'm doing it here, I don't want it to bend in any other place. So I'm kind of doing it very gingerly, you just start to feel it bend, There's no hurry, you might be able to force it a bit more but I just don't want to create too much of an arc, um, I want the bend to be the majority of it there so you get a nice bend in the corner. You can see there's a slight, slight bow, but that's fine, because in a minute, we're just going to tap it, tap the last bit out with a mallet. 
and uh, give us that nice corner that we're looking for. So that's already looking really good. As I say, there's no rush. So you can see that's looking really good. Okay, so about as good as you're going to get it because if I want to go any further, I'm going to start to bend the actual aluminium in different places. Let's do just a little, little tap with the mallet just to get it that last little bit. Actually, I'm going to just give it a little bit more with my hand. Okay. hardly hitting this up. Very, very deadly. There we go. Look at that. That is pretty damn perfect. A little bit more in the middle there. I can just feel Let's just have a look at the camera again. I can take it off the stand. So what we have, if I come in here, you can see how tight the aluminium is now to the to the steel all the way along. So I've got a nice right angle coming up. You can see that there. You know how flat against that that is. And come around the other side. Look at that. Nice and flat. So if I disconnect this now, it's a difficult one-handed. There we go. I don't think the other one's quite so stiff. Okay, take this out of the way. And there we go. Nice corner. You can see the edge. Look at that. So it's, it's the corner has mimicked the corner of the of the steel that I had. But look, that's going to be much stronger. So there's going to be one side there. Going to fold the other side round and put the sides on. This is actually the bottom. It's actually the bottom of the box here, and uh, it's just going to be extra strength. I mean, it's much better than me brazing it all the way round. If I can just minimise the amount of joins in the metal and actually use the physical properties of the metal itself that's going to be much much stronger so I'm not going to bore you with folding more and brazing and stuff I'm going to crack on and um, as ever I'll show you the results uh, in the next video catch you soon guys cheers <laughs>